Welcome back. Let's get started on the oral side of it. Oral is basically listening. It's the ability to hear music and transfer it onto the guitar. Um, what I'm going to do is just give you a little tip that I used when I initially started. Just to, it, It's a lot of fun and you'll be able to do it literally straight away. And that is to Play, play some of your favorite songs. Get, get some very, you know, songs that you enjoy listening to because that'll make it more fun for you. Um, I used to listen to, to, when I first started ACDC, I used to try and work out ACDC songs. Um, and what you want to do is just find which notes on the guitar fit with the music. Make sure your, your guitar's in tune. Um, so just go around and, and you might just try and find notes and find, find which notes sit well with it, which seem to be the strong notes, which are the weak notes. And then, you know, ACDC, a lot of their stuff was played, you know, around E's and A riffs. Um, you know, things like TNT. It was all, you know, in E. So it was very easy for me to find the notes. Um, so I could just literally move around the guitar and find which notes. And then as I learned more, learned scales and so forth, which you will learn, you, you find that this particular scale, the pentatonic blue scale, which you'll learn later on, will fit with um, most most songs. You just got to find which key it is um, and where the scale sits properly. And so it's it's, it's a good one to use. And then the idea of just listening to some music, finding which notes work, will start to hone you in and hone your ear in on where those songs sit and, and how to to actually learn to play them eventually by ear. So we want to learn. To, we want to learn to be able to hear songs and play them by ear because it gives you a big advantage. Again, it's again another skill that's essential and, and, and part of this whole program. All right. So let's have a look. Let's get started um, as to how this works. The first thing that I'm going to do, the, the first exercise that I'm going to do for you, is to get you to listen to two notes and decide which is the lowest and which is the highest. It starts off really easy. Um, so let, let's have a listen. Okay. I'm going to play this note and then this note. Okay, so I'm quite sure you can tell that the first note is higher than the second note. Okay, so let's let's move it a little bit closer and I'm going to play two notes and you've got to, you've got to identify which is the lowest and the highest note. So here we go. So which note was higher? You said the second one you were right. Okay, let's try this one. So which note was higher? The first one. Good. Okay. So now what happens is it gets a little bit harder. And what you can do at home, um, if you can team up with someone at this point, this is it's even better because that way you can you can sort of do it with each other. So the idea is I'm going to play one note here, and you've got to decide whether that note is higher or lower than the first. So here we go again. Same one. Did that go up or down? Now, it gets a little bit harder at this point because your the notes are closer together. That went up, that went so we basically went from this note to that note, which is higher. Now, if you had trouble with that, some most people will will, will there'll be a 50-50 here. Some people will have trouble with it, some people won't have, have trouble with it. It really depends on how well your ear is referenced. Um, it's, there's, it's not, it doesn't really have anything to do with any natural talent, by the way. It comes more from perception. You may have learned another instrument, you may have um, liked singing, you may just be aware of music more than other people because you've, you've tuned in more. So don't be discouraged. If, if you have trouble with this, it just means that you haven't been as aware as someone who gets it straight away. So how do you do it? What's the trick? How do you, if you, if you hear two notes that together and you're not sure whether it's going up or down, then how do you work it out? The best way to do it is to hum it. Because you can feel it in your, in your, basically in your throat. You have to actually push it up. So if I play something like this, you can feel it. You feel you're moving up through the through, through the notes, and that's the way that you develop ear is through singing notes. And if you can do that with everything that you hear, 
then that will start to develop. So start to pick songs, pick a song that you know, and start to sing through the melody. Let's use something um, here. Let's, let's, let's try and use uh, an, an example like Happy Birthday. So if you just sing that, Happy Birthday, can you hear what's happening with those first four notes? Happy Birthday. What happens to those four notes? Well, the first two notes are the same. Happy, happy, and then the third note, birth, goes up. And then it goes back, day, happy birthday, so happy birthday. So when you do that, you should feel it in your throat. When you sing it, you should feel it actually going up and down or staying the same. So there's only only really three possibilities. Either it goes from one note up, or it goes from one note down, or it stays the same. So your, your task or your challenge is to really pick which way the notes are going. So when you come to tune your guitar, and let's talk about tuning, So, you, because this is really one of the, the first uh, challenges for you as a guitar player, is to learn to tune your guitar as far as ear training is concerned. So the notes that we have on the guitar, just so you know, if we play that string there, the E string, the sixth string, I'll just get the guitar so you can see it. So I'm playing that, that sixth string. To find which note is actually the same as the, the one underneath, you need to go to the fifth fret. So, so that note there and the one under it are the same note. So if I change that, I flatten that slightly, even more so it's a bit more obvious, your challenge is to be able to hear, this is where it gets hard compared to a lot of other musicians from guitar players, we, we have to hear the very small minute differences to get the guitar in tune. So. Can you hear which direction that's moving? Is it moving up or down from this note to that note? Is it going up or down? What's your guess? Is the next note, is that second note lower or is it higher? If you can pick it, you're doing well. If you can't, then I want you to sing it. You can hear, I can feel it as I go down slightly. So I need to bring this one up. So here I'm tuning it. I'll just bring that around. Um, I'm going to tune that one there. So that should should get us in tune now. Okay. So, so we're back in tune. So what we're doing here is that we're learning to hear which note, where the notes are sitting and we're learning to decide whether to bring it up or bring it down into tune. So it's either out of tune by being too low or out of tune by being too high. So we need to know whether to bring it up or bring it down. Uh, I'll give you a tip, generally it's going to be below. Um, not always, but as a general rule, um, the strings are going to drop in tune um, just because that's where they tend to go. They tend to stretch out and get, get softer, especially on these kind of guitars, classic guitars. At this stage, um, by the way, if you're, if you're playing electric, no difference. This is everything we're learning here to, to so far for the introduction. It won't make any difference whether you're learning on a classical or an, uh, an electric guitar or an acoustic for that matter. So, so that's for tuning guitar. So there's another little trick that I'll show you. When, if you want to get it really precisely tuned, and that is to hit what we call the harmonics. And that what I'm doing there is to get a harmonic, you need to sit just on the string. So I'll see if I can bring that right in close so you can see my finger. So what I'm doing there is just, just touching the string, and then I move away from it. I don't press down on it, and I'm right over the fifth fret there. You can do it on the fifth and the seventh, pretty easily. Other frets get a lot harder, but not impossible. There's little harmonics all over the guitar. So what we're doing there is that we're going to be getting the harmonic on the fifth string and then on the seventh fret, sorry, the fifth fret and the seventh fret of the sixth and the fifth string. Now, if this is a little bit advanced for you, don't worry about it. I'm just really just giving you a little bit of introduction to it how we can hear the precise, because what we hear is the difference in frequencies between the two strings. These strings are vibrating, as you probably 
have worked out, and what we're trying to do is get the vibration the same. So as the, they vibrate the same, then we can actually hear whether the guitar, guitar string is in tune or not. Okay, so that's oral. We've covered that. What we're going to do is move to the third part of this lesson today, where we're going to talk a little bit about music theory um, and guitar theory generally. It's really important to understand a little bit about theory. You don't need to be an expert in theory, but what we want to do is, is just cover some of the basics of theory to help you understand um, how music works and how it comes together. And we're, like I said, this is the introduction, so we're just going to introduce you a little bit to it uh, in this lesson. All right. See you in the next lesson.